Hey, what's up guys? Just jumping on here. Let's share a quick devotion with you. But let me first ask you this question. Why do you think that the Apostle Paul identified with his sufferings versus uh, his financial situation? You see, a lot of times in the Western culture, in the Western philosophy of this uh, Christian American gospel, whatever you want to call it, um, we think we're blessed by what our hands can do by uh, about about what we have accomplished, about what other people can see or what our money can buy. And that is not true. That is garbage. That is baloney. And no one's getting to heaven uh, because of that message. I'm going to tell you right now that it's it takes a surrendered person to, to really be in a right relationship with God. It takes a surrendered person and a sincere heart to really turn and to really see true fruit of the Holy Spirit and true fruit in their life come about. And so our American thinking is off. We we got to remember that the gospel didn't originate in American culture, originated in an Eastern culture. And the Apostle Paul didn't come into town and, and tell the people how great his bank account was. He came to town and let them know, hey, man, I suffered. I suffered tremendously for Christ. And I don't know about you, but that kind of turns me off. Like, you want me to follow you and there's a lot of suffering involved? I don't know, Paul. But he says that 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 is the evidence that I'm a true believer. That is the evidence that this Christ is real because I wouldn't be coming and telling you that that a war is coming. I wouldn't be coming or telling you that that a disaster is coming unless I didn't see it for myself. And so Paul comes and lets people know that uh, Christ was crucified for their sins and that judgment was coming upon them and that God loved them so much that he would save them. And so Paul identifies in his sufferings like, hey, I understand what it is to be beaten for for Christ. I understand what it is to be oppressed. And the people understood oppression. The people understood poverty. The people understood what it was to be second class citizens in a Roman empire. They understood uh, how immigration felt, if that's what you want to call it. <coughs> they understood what it was to suffer. And that is what people understand. They understand that this world isn't fair. They understand that this world has hardships. They want to know how they can get through and how they can make it on the other side. So Paul comes and says, Jesus is the way. Jesus is how you can make it on the other side. Forget what's going to perish. Live to what's going to last and endure forever. And so that is what what Paul preached. He understood that that's what the people needed. He had a heart for that. So he had true fruit. And so we see that Paul sacrificed a lot. And in the American Christian version or the American gospel, we think quite contrary. We think that we're blessed by what our money can buy. That is not true. It is garbage. Let it go. A heart surrendered to God is going to be your real success. And so I want you to think about this before I close on, on this message, that Wicked people know how to give, but they're still wicked. Rich people with filthy hearts know how to give, but they're still filthy. And apart from God, they will not inherit eternal life in, in, in the heavenly place. And they will not have a home. They will not. They will be homeless for the first time. And so or maybe the second, the third, I don't know what their American version of their success story was or whatever, but I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to the things of God, they will be homeless if their heart isn't repented. You see, we know how to give even when we're mad. We know how to give even when we're sour about things. We know how to help our family or whatever the case may be, but we're not justified by what we give a outside of a, a, a of, of, of a heart that that is heinous you see God sees the heart before he sees the, the the deed God wants to know that the heart is in the right place so as we teach our next generation we got to teach them right we got to teach them like hey don't go to church because um, because you want to see be seen by men go to church because you love the Lord Jesus Christ hey go into your prayer life because you know you need God in your life you see hey when you're when 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 you're hurting you know turn to God he know he has the answer his answer is in the cross of Jesus Christ he the, Jesus took on what you couldn't take on 
There's gratitude and thankfulness in that. We got to help the next people understand these things, you know, and God loves us enough to share it with us. And so we'll talk to you next time. Have a wonderful